I would like to walk you through some of the key features of Figure 1. We'll start with some immunofluorescence. Here is a CD4 T cell in green. This T cell is present inside the meninges. If you see the meninges highlighted with the double laminin barrier, most of this T cell is inside the meninges. However, there is a small part of the T cell which is between the two laminin barriers. This indicates that this T cell is in the process of entering or leaving the meninges. This is a second example of T cells entering or leaving the meninges. If we look at the bottom T cell, we can see that most of this cell is outside the double laminin barrier and therefore outside the meninges. However, there are still small protrusions of this cell inside the meninges, indicating again that this cell is in the process of entering or leaving the meninges. Here we are showing a T cell that is clearly inside the parenchyma of the brain. We have used GFAP staining in aqua to highlight astrocytes and the glialimitans. The fact that this T cell is beyond the glialimitans shows that it is clearly beyond the blood brain barrier and inside the parenchyma of the brain. Switching over to flow cytometry, we lose the anatomical resolution of imaging. However, we are able to throughput many more cells and also collect phenotypic information on these cells. Here, the key technique is to perfuse mice with CD45PE just before the point of death. The CD45PE entering circulation labels all cells that are inside the blood or have contacted with the blood. If we couple this with perfusion of the mouse brain, we can see that most of the T cells in the mouse brain are clearly inside the tissue and not inside the blood. This is in contrast to cells inside the blood, which all get labelled with the CD45 PE that we inject at the point of death. Here the key point for me is that the number of cells that we are able to quantify via imaging and the number that we're quantifying via flossotometry is very similar, demonstrating that we're successfully identifying CD4 positive T cells in the healthy mouse brain.